I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for great. Greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. But it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah. We were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh. Hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So, sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right-o, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own Founding Day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some Redstone assignments. Uh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay?
I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. Won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, I just wish I could have hung out with my friends more. We're all so busy now. That is hard. But at least they come back to visit a bunch? That's pretty awesome. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Huh. Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas.
That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Craving seafood? Always. Why? <coughs> Whoa! Oh, wink! Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse! I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Huh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. Huh, <sighs> all right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes! I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse! I love that. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams? Tentacles everywhere? Well, it's like I said about drawing inspiration from my friends. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing! I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just the best! Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? Best pig that ever lived. Miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Yeah. He was my best friend. Still miss him. Aww. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh yeah, it's me. What are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much! All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! That's Esteban. Smushy Q cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth! <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? I'm a smushy Cute Cheeks fan. He's just got that vibe. Really? Ah, 
I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic! Congratulations! <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye! It makes me happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Sugar. Nice. Jesse! Oh, hey, hey! Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey, guys! What are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Bounding Day that I guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematic, didn't you, Bob? Yep. It's really cool. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Just nothing prettier than pink wool. Let's get to it. Nice. That turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! Woohoo! Oh. Ha ha! Woo! <laughs> Ta da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work! What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse! Wow! Hi! Huh. Just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? Doesn't fit? I think it's perfect. Oh, wow! <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. <clears throat> is he okay? No, I don't think so. Mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people, helping them prepare for Founding Day. Very inspiring. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh. I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? Ah! <sighs> Stupid zombie. 
I missed this. <laughs> well, not so much. <laughs> well, you're late, but at least you still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us, adventuring together, facing the unknown. I wish we could do this more often. Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff. So what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready for more? <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. Lost my step yet? Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me, your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything. Hey, I'm here now, aren't I? I'll always make time for you. Yeah, I guess. But now that you mention it, can't I sing one, two, three? Axel has Boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait! What? It's monster hunting time! Good to see ya. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Oh. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So, you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on!
And pitches in the home stretch. Jeez, more of these guys! <sighs> My turn to save you, Petra! there. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. Okay. This mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <coughs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Come here, Llama. What you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... Get after that armor wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Llama, Llama, where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. I've told you, I'm not the mayor, I'm the... Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and, like, town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? How the 
heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Whisper. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Sort of glove or a gauntlet looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine, but you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Whispers. Uh, I haven't heard anything. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. <sighs> okay, ow, wow, stop. The thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. What are the odds? Command blocks? Portal keys? Why is it always me? I don't know, but there's definitely a pattern. Uh-oh. Get off the pyramid, quick! coming from down there. Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. Sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but in here. Not getting out the way we came, though. Look, I think that goes to the surface.
so close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? Straight to the point. I like it. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... That was really bad. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. I knew you'd be excited. Yes! And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Petra, you're just as much a part of this as me. You can't just walk away from it. I... Ugh, I promise we'll take care of it. Just... Why are you being so weird about this llama? What's the big deal? <sighs> You know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... kinda got tricked... by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and... now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's... uh... It's been... not great. Petra, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, or... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's... ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating... Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. I can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and... <sighs> Get this thing off my hand! Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? More like Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team, and we will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. This Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. That 
is a classy mine shaft entrance. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep, she's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough. Making up new rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. Hey, the llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. Nice day. Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you think you like that. You. Oh, Luna, my darling! You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh boy. Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Oh, I really wish I could. Really. But I can't. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. 
You wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Hey, you're the one that decided to live here. I... Yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. Uh, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. We'll roll in, fight the bodyguards, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Hey, you can't be in here. And you definitely can't have those. Let's get fire out! it up. I don't like you. Ha! Not a fan of yours either. <clears throat> we still really need to talk about this, Petra. You really want to discuss it now? Yes! I do! It does seem like weird timing. Shush! Hey! Shush you! I'm trying... <clears throat> ...to have a conversation here! <clears throat> this whole Champion City thing is kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey! What's going on out here? Uh, so what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. Yikes. What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? You mean the friends who are never around anymore? What did you say? No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest, and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Yeah. You're right. Of course, you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge box, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Wow. That actually makes me kind of sad. She thinks that all it takes is having a room full of treasure. Even if you got it from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? <clears throat> so, our rivalry escalates again. You're not my rival. Says the person breaking into my treasure room. Classic rival move. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. I've got better treasure than that anyway. Who needs it? Hope you learned a lesson here, Stella. No one cheats my friends and gets away with it. 
Yes, I've certainly learned how you deal with people you disagree with. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man... Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good! What is that? That should be impossible! Tell them that! Cheap sword! I got you covered, Jesse! So good to have you back! No, you don't. Ugh. Woo! That would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome. Come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. We're going to get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah. I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. You still hang out with me, though. Well, yeah. But that's because I knew you when you were still just a nerd in a treehouse. Don't take it personally, dude. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy... Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. What if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Well, if I can offer some advice, the best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it.
Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Ah, ah. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra? Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff, too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. Uh, but you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm, I I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. Thanks for noticing. I am very brave. Always good to see a hero that knows their own worth. <gasps> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. So awesome to meet you. Love your shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa. Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did, huh? You can, can't you? Uh... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah. And it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? You should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So, where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument, because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay, so how about you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us. Be our guide. 
No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... Kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends, Voss and Sammy, to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Hmm. Jack! Jack! Sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah! We'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? Then yeah! That's the spirit? Yes. You... are, right? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block, sea temple. I know, it's amazing. Almost too good to be true. Ah, yes! And Jack, man, he is awesome, right? Ah, uh, I can't believe it! I'm going on an adventure with Jack. Hey! I like him. Can't wait to see him in action out there. I was just thinking the same thing. He actually seems pretty cool. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admins. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fine. What'd he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place, so... What with the, uh, whole lava volcano incident? <laughs> Easy, Nermy. Don't blow a gasket. That's awesome, Nerm. Welcome aboard. Woohoo! He says, woohoo! Yeah, I figured that out. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? You're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Okay, Port. geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on. I need to make a quick pit stop, and I can show you some real armor. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There's a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake-baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. 
The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the firework Radar! Union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. A Speaking radar. of which, you should probably work on your founding day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it! Why didn't I factor in rehearsal time? Radar! Ah, stupid. Ah, sorry. Got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends. And a new accessory? Short version. The town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. Gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. <laughs> um, goodbye. Hey. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <sighs> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never... Uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but... Uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. It's just like I always say, couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah, friends are the best. <laughs> Love having friends. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No, no. I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Shield of Infinity. I love how regal this one looks. I feel like Ivor might have been running out of ideas when we made it, though. Dragon's Bane. So cool. Oh, great name, too. Color me impressed. I am. Swordbreaker. Nice classic name. Awesome modern look. I think that one might just be my favorite. Seriously. Yeah? That one? Glimmering diamonds and shiny gold. Tim would've looked great in it. If he was real. So much pomp for a guy who never actually existed. Non-existent guys lost. My gain. Griefer armor, if I've ever seen it. Magnus was a crazy guy. Yep. Went out doing what he loved most. Blowing, blowing stuff, stuff up. Ah, Adamentium and Pervium. I always suspected this one was Ivor's favorite. I think he just liked saying the name. The Star Shield. Great set of armor. Yeah, very sleek, very spacey. Ender Defender. Very fresh armor. Hmm. Reminds me of the Puck Slime Runners. Very tough cookies. Golden Goliath. Always loved how shiny this one is. Yeah. Just like the prideful warriors of the Shimmering Plains. So tough, they like to make sure their enemies can always see them coming. 
Redstone Riot. Beautiful engineering on this one. I like the glowy bits. That's a technical term. Ferocious! <laughs> I couldn't even keep a straight face saying that. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. I appreciate it. I mean, it's pretty big of you. Hey, look, I really meant it. Ah, it really is big of me, isn't it? Okay. Now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So, where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh, shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. Enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. <sighs> oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. Hey, that sounds really cool. I can't wait either. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hmm. Well, hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. So, this temple, it's dangerous then? You don't have any sponge in your ears, do you? Yeah, this place is super dangerous. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Then what are we waiting for? That's the spirit. Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Temples... that way. How... 
compass. Right. Oh, that's so cool. sure that we all have our limbs, how about we find that structure block? Hmm. Uh, I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Sec, just to check my enchantments. Yeah, uh, making sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Oh, whoa! It's uh, got me like uh, frozen in place. <clears throat> Uh, I'll be all right. Wow, it's a good thing you're better at fighting than you are at lying. Because you are a terrible liar. What? I am... Uh, I'm an awesome liar. The deceptive... Uh, deceivers of... lie are Mountain... Sam. Hmm. Uh, fine. Fine. I thought I was ready for this. Guys, hey! I found something! Uh, be right there! Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? She's a fan. It's nice. Look, you have no idea how it feels to have everyone around you think you're some 
has been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Uh, don't worry, Jack. We all get scared from time to time. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. Hey, thanks. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Just remember what we talked about, right, Jack? Yeah, right. You're right. Close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. We've got guardian fish and floating water blocks. Water. Floating in mid-air? That should be impossible. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Oh, oh he won't listen to me anymore. Guys, hmm. why are you being so fighty, Jack? Come on. Because I refuse to believe that there's some all-powerful dude running around, playing games with my life. Well... I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. Okay, those sponges might be just the thing to soak up the water and leave the Guardians high and dry. Right, so we're going to use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the Guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup. Whoever isn't doing the running. Okay, I'll run and keep the Guardians off your back. You and Jack do the sponges. Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go! Hey, laser lips! Oh, boy. What's it like being ugly and bad at your job? No, no. Sammy? Jack? Jack? Jesse? We've got a Jack problem! Yourself, Jack? I don't have to explain my... Oh. You're right. I really messed up. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure blocks gotta be close.
How are you doing over here? Okay. I can't stop thinking about what happened with Jack. Yeah? Just, if I saw your inventory piled down here, I don't think I'd be handling it much better than he is. Jack, you okay? Don't really feel like being talked to right now, Jesse. I'm brooding. about Jack, right? He'll be okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'll get back to this. Hmm. Dark prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Well, at least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table. There's nothing I can craft that can help me. Not yet, anyway. Looks like some sort of pattern. There's nothing I can craft that can help me. Not yet, anyway.
Ooh, Prismarine. I was just looking at that door, and I don't think that's what we need here. Maybe try a sea lantern? Oh, right. Here. The tides! I'm finally free! <laughs> it has... It has been a very, very long time. <gasps> Vars! Uh, Jack! <laughs> Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Wait, how'd you survive down here for so long? <laughs> if you sit absolutely still, you'd be amazed at how long a stack of pork chops will last. <laughs> anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. She has her moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh. I'd really like to see the sunshine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. Sorry, Voss. Not until we get the treasure that we came here for. Yup. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh. More of those weird statues. At least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing.
<laughs> the adventure. <laughs> okay. What are they? Kind of zombie shaped. They sort of sound like zombies, but those are definitely not zombies. Hey guys, structure blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just a feeling, I guess? <sighs> Creepy. Feel like this is important, but I don't really know why. back home have never even seen Prismarine before. Yeah, much less this weirdo Prismarine. So cool! You guys doing okay? I don't like any of it, Jesse. It's giving me a bad feeling. And my instincts are better than nine ocelots tied together. Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense. Just like old times, buddy. Hey, Nerm. Think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. <sighs> Nermy says they say, once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the admin, ugh. Built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. Nerm, sorry to bother you again, but... The admin saw there were no more heroes worthy of his challenges. So he left this world until the next great heroes emerged. Can't believe you buy into this stuff. That's obviously just the cop-out way of saying he never... This must be it. It's gotta be. Look, that symbol. It looks just like the one we saw underground. The structure block. <laughs> Nerm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Huh. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. What? Fascinating! Yeah. But what does it all mean? Mm -hmm. Says that's the wall of the builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. Mm, mm, mm. Nerm says that one's the Tower of the Warrior. Wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. The Warrior Path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? I can't believe 
believe we got it. Now, if only our way out wasn't blocked by all those freaky soldiers. Perhaps... they went away? I'm guessing no. Ha 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 ha. 
Your block goes. Slam it down, Jesse. We'll keep the creepers off your back. I guess I did. Think that's really the end of it? Huh. Certainly looks that way to me. Then come on. Let's go home, you guys. This is more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone. Happy Founding Day. <laughs> oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. You're back! Thank goodness. This has... Ooh, this has been a lot of work. People all need things approved. Or help with building. Or wrangling animals. It might have been a lot of work, but... It was totally worth it. The place looks great. Yeah? Yeah. You did a great job, Radar. Wow. Thanks. So, did you find what you were searching for? Jesse! 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 It's just like I'm always telling people. Teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks to all my friends, we brought this amazing new treasure back. There's nothing we can't do together! Happy Founding Day, everyone! You're welcome.
Not bad, right? I think they really liked it. Yeah, they did. Guess you've still really got it. Yeah, other than having half the number of eyes I had when we left, I'd call that a rousing success. Yeah, that part's not the best. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Jack, I'm so sorry. I was really sure you had it back there. I don't blame you. I thought so too. Just as frustrated with myself. Oh, Jack! I, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Voss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? In a little bit. I'm still hanging with Jesse for now. Still don't know what I'm going to do about you, though. What's that? Whoa! You dudes heard that too, right? Yes! Terrifying! Yeah! What was it? Next chapter.